This video was made in collaboration with the Avatar Wiki. If you'd like to learn more, check out the link in the description. A vast range of fauna inhabit the world, ranging over virtually every landscape as well as the oceans and skies. But let's not kid ourselves. We know what this is about. This is going to be a list of animals, uh, some of whom are described in great detail, and others are written to just upset me. Welcome to the Amagi. In today's video, we're going over 21 winged Earth Kingdom animals. Before we begin, we publish a new video every day. So be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Wolf Bat The wolf bat is an animal native to the caves of the Earth Kingdom, particularly the Cave of Two Lovers. A wolf bat attacked Team Avatar as they made their way through the Cave of Two Lovers. Sokka attempted to swat it away with a torch, only for the torch to be knocked out of his hand and land near Appa, subsequently scaring the flying bison and causing the wolf bat to flee. Shortly afterward, a group of wolf bats fled from two badger moles, passing by Sokka and the traveling nomads. Viper Bat The viper bat is a small, flying, winged serpent found in the Earth Kingdom. Though generally diurnal, the viper bat typically avoids strong light and is most comfortable in dark, damp areas, making caves its most preferred habitat. Often living in large colonies, it is known to be easily aggravated and ill-tempered. Despite their naturally aggressive temperament, domesticated viper bats are known to exist. While flying on Appa through a storm, Team Avatar encountered a tornado that separated them. Aang managed to land safely, and while attempting to locate the others, he heard a noise from a viper bat. The bat proceeded to attack him, but Aang managed to evade, causing it to slam into a tree. However, more viper bats appeared and began to surround him. After using his airbending to knock them back, Aang escaped and hid in a cave, only to realize a viper bat colony lived inside. He used earthbending to hide until the bats passed before moving on. Spider Wasp Cross between a spider and a wasp Oh, here we go. Known to have inhabited Yudao. There you go, a wealth of information on the spider wasp. Sparrowkeet the sparrowkeet is a small green bird, which is kept as a house pet in Ba Sing Se. Team Avatar once encountered a group of sparrowkeets while in a pet shop within the Earth Kingdom capital of Ba Sing Se. These birds got into a scuffle with Momo, who quickly commandeered their food bowl and ate its contents. The owner of the shop was forced to evict Team Avatar after Momo began to harass these sparrowkeets, who began circling Momo's head, squawking loudly. Sooty Copper Fritillary the sooty copper fritillary is a highly coveted species of butterfly in the Earth Kingdom. Often found flying near the dust of copper mines, miners track them to uncover new mineral deposits, a method of finding copper that has earned many people large sums of money. After Haru was captured and imprisoned by the Fire Nation, Katara decided to get herself arrested in order to save him from the prison rig. As she and Sokka discussed their plan, Aang played with a sooty copper fritillary. Several months later, as Aang was discussing Appa's shedding, a fritillary flew past his head. Momo attempted to catch the butterfly without success. Scorpion Bee The scorpion bee is a creature with the body of a bee and a scorpion-like head and tail. While Team Avatar was lost in a forest, a scorpion bee landed on Aang's nose. Aang remained still, but Momo became frightened as more of the insects covered the airbender's body. Aang used his airbending to get the bees off of him. However, they soon started to chase after him, prompting him to flee on an air scooter. Soon after, Aang encountered a Fire Nation soldier and realized that a scorpion bee was on his shirt. The insect promptly flew into the soldier's nose as Aang ran away. Sokka later attempted to train King Kuei's pet Bosco in becoming a regular, non-pampered bear. In one of the exercises of this regimen, the Water Tribe warrior tried to coax the animal into capturing some scorpion bees to teach him how to gather food on his own. The scorpion bees remained unaffected by the bear as Bosco refused to climb up the tree and retrieve the nest out of laziness. Sea Vulture Scavenger bird that inhabits the western coast of the Earth Kingdom. And that's it. Screeching Bird The screeching bird is a small, fluffy, white bird that can be found in the foggy swamp in the southern Earth Kingdom. It's known for its ominous scream. While walking through the mysterious foggy swamp, Aang, Katara, and Sokka stopped to make camp. As Sokka tried to convince the group that it was just a normal swamp, a nearby screech from this bird frightened them, and they huddled together to quell each other's fear. Later, when Team Avatar was having dinner, another screeching bird landed nearby, and after letting out its awful scream, was swatted away by a tree root. 
Raccoon Crow, winged creature that enjoys feeding off pumpkins. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and guess that it's also a cross between a raccoon and a crow. Iguana Parrot. The Iguana Parrot, also known as the Reptile Bird, is a hybridized creature that inhabits the Earth Kingdom. It is a favorite pet of sailors and pirates. An Iguana Parrot was a companion of the pirate captain at the Seedy Merchant's Pier and often perched on his shoulder. After a brawl started between the pirates, Zuko and his crew, and Team Avatar over possession of a waterbending scroll, the Iguana Parrot began fighting with Momo. Both animals attempted to steal the scroll for their respective owners, but the winged lemur managed to outsmart the bird by tangling it up in a flag and pinning it to the mast. Later, when Zhao hired the pirates to blow up Zuko's ship in an attempt to kill the prince, it was the pirate captain's iguana parrot that accidentally alerted Zuko to the pirate's presence aboard his ship. The bird flew away to safety before the ship exploded. Glowfly The glowfly is an insect native to the Earth Kingdom's foggy swamp. It is small, but capable of emitting an extremely bright and intense white light, allowing it to appear much larger than its actual size. While lost in the swamp, Aang, Katara, and Sokka set up a campfire for the night. During a discussion about their current situation, Sokka began swatting at a glowfly with his machete. In response, the fly emitted a brilliant light, one that almost blinded Team Avatar and briefly illuminated their surroundings, revealing it to be filled with the staring eyes of wildlife. Giant Fly let me guess, a large fly. Now, actually, there's more here. The giant fly is an insect that primarily inhabits the Earth Kingdom quagmires and is hunted as food by tribesmen of the Foggy Swamp tribe. After Aang, Katara, and Sokka were invited to a meal at the Foggy Swamp village, they were offered one of these giant flies to eat. Sokka took a big bite out of the roasted giant fly to prove his point that the visions they saw in the swamp were caused by a lack of nourishment. Duck, famed bird, often roasted. You've probably seen these before. They've got a bill. They float. Um, ducks. Dragonfly. The dragonfly is a chimerical creature from the Earth Kingdom bearing traits characteristic of both reptiles and insects. While searching for Appa in the heart of Ba Sing Se, Aang noticed a small cage of dragonflies in the Ba Sing Se Zoo. After noticing the establishment's dilapidated state, Aang resolved to help Kenji reinvigorate interest in the zoo through its expansion and relocation to the city's agrarian zone. To this end, the Avatar released the dragonflies along with all the other animals, intent on corralling them toward the zoo's new location. However, the creatures dispersed into the city with several dragonflies harassing civilians and others perching atop structures. The Avatar resorted to using airbending as a means of warding off dragonflies from the city's inhabitants before ultimately using his bison whistle to lead them to the newly created zoo. Dove. The dove is a bird found extensively throughout the Earth Kingdom and Fire Nation, most commonly near established settlements. Trained doves are often used for entertainment and theatrical performances. Cranefish. The cranefish is a creature commonly found near Earth Kingdom coastlines, as well as industrial areas such as the Earth and Fire Refinery. Cat Owl. The cat owl is a hybrid creature that lives in the forests of the Earth Kingdom and Fire Nation, though it can also be kept as a pet. It preys on mice and other small rodents and has a distinctive meow hoot that is considered to be one of the most bizarre sounds made by an animal. While searching for information about Appa's whereabouts, Team Avatar and Judy entered a pet shop in Ba Sing Se. A cat owl was among the animals for sale, and the creature scared Momo away from its food bowl when the lemur began eating from it. Later, when Hama brought Katara into a forest outside a Fire Nation village at night, a wild cat owl was perched on a branch high in the trees. During the invasion of the United Republic of Nations, a pet cat owl named Nibbles became separated from her owner. Avatar Korra and Milo used Naga and a toy with her scent to track the pet and found her grooming herself in a tree. Nibbles startled when Milo, yelling her name, launched himself straight at her and retreated into an abandoned building, where it was discovered that a man named Jobal had been taking care of her and several other pets that had gotten lost during the evacuation process. After convincing Jobal to come to the evacuee camp, Nibbles was returned to her owners. Buzzard Wasp The buzzard wasp is a chimerical creature native to the Siwang Desert. While Team Avatar was lost in the desert, they unwittingly entered a large hive inhabited by buzzard wasps and were consequently attacked by the colony. During the frenzy, a buzzard wasp captured Momo, prompting Aang to rescue him with the use of airbending. In anger, the Avatar sent an airblade several hundred yards, knocking the creature down. Later, while flying across the desert, 
A ravenous appa sought out food and entered a hive of buzzard wasps. The creatures angrily began to chase the bison, who managed to ward them off with an air blast. Bumblefly. Buzzing, flying insect. Blue Jay. The blue jay is a passerine native to the Earth Kingdom. It has coalesced into mainstream society and can often be found alongside humans in more developed and populated regions. The blue jay has adapted to urbanization and can be found in heavily settled areas such as Ba Sing Se. However, it is not dependent on humans for its survival as evidenced by the flock that still inhabits the abandoned city of Taku. Ant fly, buzzing flying insect that is known to inhabit the lower ring of Ba Sing Se. Okay, so bumblefly and antfly, both buzzing flying insects. Uh, look at the pictures to tell the difference. Did you enjoy our video? Be sure to check out these other great videos from the Amagi and make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.